So I thought I'd start with showing you a couple of edits from our shoot along. Um, so I've just picked the most random images, basically. And I wanted to show you a little bit of my work process. So I love this image of Wolf and his mama. So what we're going to do, instead of cropping it, I'm just going to scale it in slightly because I still love that little bit of fence there. Just to show them having a little moment. Let's get rid of that little bit in the background too. Alright, so I like the exposure, but we might go up slightly and then we're going to apply a preset. So let's have a look at a couple of different ones and see what floats our boat. So these ones are filmic kind of old school vibes. And usually greens are a bit unpleasant to the eye, so I might apply Now, I like the skin tones in Poppy, but I don't like how unnatural it makes everything look. So, let's see if we can just bring down the preset slightly so that it's not as intense. And go to the greens and see if they've pulled it out of the preset. Yes, they have. So, let's go up a little bit. Make those greens nice and soft. Up the masking detail and sharpening. And I might up the luminance and contrast a little bit in my manual noise reduction. The other thing you're going to check as well is that your lens corrections are on. And then I might even put a slight more amount of magenta in that. And I don't think I need to warm them up anymore. But let's apply a little bit of brushwork on this as well. I really like the Lumi tools. And let's pop and brighten them a little bit. Beautiful. Bring that down slightly. Now. Bring this orange down in their skin tones as well. And I don't think we need to drop the highlights much. And we'll leave the contrast as it is. Cool. So let's duplicate this and make a black and white as well. So ignore my ridiculous names on this. Alright, so that's my favourite black and white at the moment. Chloe's face is a little bit highlight overload. And all my colours are at zero, except for the orange. I'm going to bring the lights down slightly and the darks down. I'll lower the contrast, brighten it, and drop the highlights a little bit more. I might even add some more green, but I want to add green on the background. So let's go with select background, and I am going to up the green on it. So a medium format green about here. love so it's all grainy in the background but they're in focus love that so to make that a little bit consistent with the edit for this gallery I'm going to develop this as a preset so that I don't have to keep doing that over and over again so let's call it and make sure we click all these 
and that's it. And we'll edit one more. Let's go. We'll go to this one. Beautiful. All right, another really cute moment. Let's have a look at bringing up the exposure slightly. I like that Chloe's face is here. But we're going to bring Wolf in slightly more. That's the way. He's so cute. So let's have a look at presets again. Let's see what these ones look like. Beautiful. So Me Meadow is quite true to colour, which is a nice one, but I'm probably more loving Maeve. Or even Fern. Let's go with Fern. I'm feeling Fern. We might warm them up though. Warm them up slightly. We might bring the shadows up a little bit as well. And let's see what happens when we bring our whites down, if it makes it a bit creamier. Yes, blacks up a little bit. And then I'm going to up the vibrancy slightly. And bring the saturation down. Masking everything up, love it. Just enhances the image a little bit more. And then we might look at vignetting as well. I actually like it quite brighter. Beautiful. And I'm going to do this one in black and white too because I love it. Just to confuse myself more, but I love the two filmic ones. So cute. But we'll go back up to that thing we made before, which I put in here. Super cute. Little bit of work. Let's bring it up. Beautiful. Look at the little bit of light on his hair as well. Beautiful. Alright, perfect. And then this is... A different preset but let's have a look at what it looks like compared to this one so this one's a bit cooler this one's a bit warmer beautiful so there's a bit more reds in this one opposed to this one so sometimes you can play with your mid-tones in a preset if you want. So we might pull the reds down a little bit. Bring them up. Beautiful. And then have a look at... See how that... We can bring those up a little bit. 